What's going on guys, it's J-Ho bringing you a brand new video and today we got some big Destiny 2 news. So today Bungie put up the latest edition or the updated version of the development roadmap and we got a bunch of details for upcoming content for Destiny 2 so it's pretty exciting so let's get straight into it. First of all they finally announced the second expansion for Destiny 2. It's going to be coming on May 8th, which is also the beginning of Season 3, and it's called Warmind, so pretty simple name. We knew it had something to do with Warminds just because of all the screenshots and all the things that have been leaked or seen so far. Um, but we're going to get a full reveal of that in one of Bungie's live streams on Twitch, so that's going to be happening on April 24th, which is like two weeks before the expansion is going to drop. So that's going to be pretty exciting. I'm always excited for new Destiny content and hopefully it's a lot better than what we saw with Curse of Osiris. Hopefully we got a lot more things to do within the expansion. And then also starting with Season 3, all of the DLC Crucible maps will be available to any Destiny 2 player as long as you own Destiny 2 so it doesn't split up the player base for Crucible specifically or PvP. So I think that's a really good idea, especially people that solely like playing Crucible. Um, they can have access to uh, the uh, Crucible maps that come out with the future expansions. So that's really good, especially when it comes to those specific playlists like Trials and for Iron Banner and things like that. So keeping the Crucible community all intact, especially when expansions come out, is definitely beneficial for matchmaking and just the player base in general. So that's really good. But on top of that, we got an updated version of the development roadmap that they posted a while back because we got a few patches since then. So some of them have been deployed already. And now we gotta look forward to the future with Season 3 into the summer and even into the fall in September when Season 4 is gonna begin as well. So starting with Season 3, we got the 1.2 update that is the Warmind expansion. That is when that's gonna begin on May 8th. And we got Seasonal Crucible Ranking. So that's when the Crucible Ranking system is gonna come out as well. We got Private Matches coming. We got Vault Space increasing, Multi Emote Wheel. We got Exotic Weapon Masterworks, which is exciting. Can't wait to see that. We got Seasonal Vendor Progression, Exotic Weapon Sandbox changes also excited for that heroic strike modifiers and nightfall challenge cards so all of these were mentioned before in a previous Bungie blog post and things like that but they didn't really get too far into detail on any of the specific topics so can't wait to see more on some of these especially like the exotic sandbox changes as well as exotic weapon masterwork so that's going to be exciting on top of the other more simple changes like vault space increase and things like that so can't wait for all that, but moving into the summer with the continuation of Season 3, we got a new seasonal event coming, more details probably coming closer to when that's going to happen. Uh, we got improvements to the Faction Rally event, that's really good. Uh, we got bounties coming back, so that's going to be interesting. Um, PC Clan Chat and Exotic Armor Sandbox changes, so that's really good. Um, I can't wait to see the exotic weapons and even armor become more powerful and more impactful like they were in Destiny 1. And then finally moving on to Season 4 in September, that is probably when the big expansion is going to come out. Something really similar to the Taken King that Destiny 1 had. Uh, we're going to get gear collections, we're going to get records, probably something similar to the record book. Uh, we're going to get weapon slot changes as well as weapon randomization. And on top of that, there's going to be more to come that they didn't reveal yet. So I'm really excited for the September one. I think that's going to be the biggest one yet. On top of the fact that it's going to have a big expansion probably with it. I think by September with that update, everything should be coming together. I'm pretty excited to hear about the weapon slot changes. I'm excited to see weapon randomization. And they said the mod system is going to have a factor in that weapon randomization. So I can't wait to see what they do. They're probably putting a little bit of a spin and something different in terms of just doing straight up random rolls like we saw in Destiny 1. So I can't wait to see what they change about that. That's coming in the way future in September. But right now we got the Warmind expansion to look forward to. We got the stream for it coming on April 24th. I believe that is a Tuesday, so uh, get ready for that. We got some more information on the expansion. Probably more info on Season 3 and stuff as well uh, during that time. So pretty excited for that. Let me know what you guys think though. Thank you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!